Today, we're going to look at Canva. Canva is a graphic design platform that allows users to create information, graphics, posters, and documents. The platform is free to use, but offers paid subscriptions, which unlock additional functionality. We'll be looking at the free version of the platform. To begin, go to canva.com and sign in using your DCU Google account credentials. The Canva homepage is quite busy with lots of information on it. But if you're ready to begin, the best place to start is to select the right template for your needs. Canva offers a huge selection of base templates and organizes them in a few different categories, such as social media, personal, business, marketing, education, and trending. There are a few key differentiations between the different type of templates, including dimensions, visual styles, and other elements. You can also use the search bar to find an appropriate type of template, in our case, infographics. As you will see, you are presented with a number of different options to select for your base template. Once you find a template that fits your need, open with the Canva editor. The editor is a simple tool that allows you to make changes to your base template. You can change any element of the template, including text, icons, shapes, and even color. You can also add your own visual elements by looking at the menu bar on the left hand side. Options include photos. Just by clicking on the selected photo, you'll see it appear on your template. Additional elements, such as illustrations, shapes, and stickers. Some pre formatted text fonts. videos for your social media and online posts. And you can change the background very easily. You can even upload your own elements, such as this image here, or a logo. And each element, again, is very easy to edit. If you're not sure whether you're using the right template and want to change your mind, you can go right back to the start. If you'd like to work collaboratively on Canva, you can invite your colleagues by email through the share button. Your colleague can now make changes and edits live on the infographic, or even just to view it if you so choose. When you're ready to share your work with the world, you can do so either through some of the integrated platforms, such as Facebook, Twitter, or Google Drive. You can even print it to t-shirts, business cards, or posters. But in our case, what we're going to do is download a copy of our infographic. I have a few different options, including PNG, JPEGs, and PDFs. And I'm going to go with the PNG this time around. You can see now I have a copy of the PNG downloaded to my desktop. And I can view it or work with it further as needed. When I'm finished working on my infographic for now, I can go back out to the home page. And you can see in my design folder, all my work has been saved. I 
And that's kind of folks. Thanks for watching.